that Jigsaw falling into place by Radiohead. Uh, it's in a weird tuning. Other than that, it's great. So let's just do the weird tuning, get it over with, then we'll learn the song. Top string, tune down one full step to D. D as in... Darth Vader. Second uh. string from the top is controversial, guys. Some sources say it remains at the standard A. Some say you tune up a full step to B. Um, I have watched live footage of Radiohead performing the song, and I have determined that the tuning for the second string from the top is inconclusive. We're barely gonna play that string, so what I do is I leave it at A, because when you tune up, you run the serious risk of breaking the string. So we're just gonna keep it at A and it's gonna be great. The third string from the top remains at the standard D tuning. The third string from the bottom, you're gonna tune down one half step to F sharp. Second string from the bottom remains at the standard B. And then the bottom string, another, another controversial subject. This one, does it remain at the standard E or do you tune it down a full step to D? It doesn't really matter because we're not really going to use that bottom string, but I tune it down to D. So D, A, D, F sharp, B, D. I have a link for how to do alternate tunings or a video or whatever, so... Guys, let's learn the song. Middle finger, ninth fret on the top string. Ring finger is gonna play ninth fret on the third string from the top. Pointer finger plays the eighth fret on the third string from the bottom. Your middle finger, in addition to playing the ninth fret on the top string, your middle finger is just gonna lean over and just touch the A string to mute the A string. Your middle finger's job for almost the entire song is gonna be to mute the A string, the second string from the top. This is our first chord of the song. Using your pick or plectrum, if you will, you're going to play the top string, then you're gonna play the third string from the top, and then plucking up, you're gonna play the third string from the bottom. So that was just top, third from the top, up on the third from the bottom. You're gonna play those three notes twice in a row. One, two, three, one, two, three. Then just play the top string, and then play the third string from the bottom, plucking up. So it goes like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. That rhythm and that picking is going to last for quite a bit of the song. Let's play just on that one chord, that one little riff, that one little short little rhythmic repeated guitar part. Let's do that three times. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Let's play it four times, okay? One, Two, very slowly. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Halfway there. Last time. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. You did so well. I'm so impressed with the way you picked those notes. You're the best nose picker in the world. After you do that, you're just gonna take your hand and you're gonna move it one fret over, but keep the same shape. So that means middle fingers on eight, ring fingers on eight, pointer fingers on seven. Just going from the ninth fret to the eighth fret. You're gonna do the same exact picking pattern, but you're gonna do it dos times. That's Spanish for two. I'm surprised you didn't know that. After that, things got a little crazy. Lift up your middle finger and lift up your pointer finger, but keep your ring finger on that string, and then just slide your ring finger to the seventh fret on the third string from the top. Add your pinky to the seventh fret on the third string from the bottom. You're gonna do the same exact picking but only one time. Then, immediately following that, get rid of your pinky and put your pointer finger on the fifth fret of the third string from the bottom. Do the same picking one more time. This is a fantastic time to practice what we have thus far. We're gonna do the first chord quattro times, the next one dos times, then one time, and uno times. I used a different word to describe each of the number of times. One, two, not too fast. And one, two, three, four, here we go. One, two, 
Here we go. One. And one. You're doing great. You ready for the next part? Let's go ahead and do the next part. You can abandon the, the strings with those fingers. Put your middle finger on the fifth fret of the top string. Do the same picking, but only do it like the only do the first three notes. Just go one, two, three. So I'm just doing top string, going down to the open third string from the top and open third string from the bottom. I'm still plucking down, down, up. That down, down, up is a big deal, guys. Make sure you do it. We've got down, down, up. Take your ring finger, put it on the fifth fret of the third string from the bottom. Do the same three notes again. But now your ring finger's there. Go back up to the top string. Then with your pinky, I just spit oatmeal on my guitar. So relax your ring finger and with your pinky, reach up to the seventh fret on the third string from the bottom. This might, this might seem like you're not gonna be able to do it. If that stretch, if it's just not happening, if you can knock at your pinky to the seventh fret, take your thumb and bring it down to the back of the neck. Look at this, thumbs up here. Oh, my poor pinky can't do it. If I bring my thumb back here, oh, my fingers just magically open up and I throw my pick on the ground and all is right with the world. Let's play just that little teeny little part we just did. We had middle finger, fifth fret on the top, ring finger was on standby. We go like this, we go one, two, three, one, two, ring finger, top string, Pinky on the seventh fret of the third string from the bottom. I don't think I explained that last part very well. You got this part, right? Fifth fret, open, open. Then I think you have the next part. Fifth fret, open, fifth fret with the ring finger. Then you just go top string on the fifth fret, then pinky on the seventh fret of the third string from the bottom. Let's play that part one more time. Nice and, nice and slow, we're doing it slow. One, two, here we go. And one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. You get to relax your middle finger. Pointer finger plays fourth fret on the top string. Do the first three notes of the picking pattern again. One, two, three. Keep your pinky on that seventh fret. You're gonna do top string, third string. Scooch your pinky up to the eighth fret of this third string from the bottom. Oh, energy just got sapped out of the room. Did you feel that? Did you feel when I rent, when I, 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 I remember there were two other sections of the song and I was just like, man, this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a great time. I'm so excited to share this experience with you. Where, okay, we were at four with a pointer, open seven, back up to the top string, four, open, then pinky goes up to eight. So it's quite a stretch, you can handle it. Then back up to four on the top, relax your pinky and just play the third string from the bottom open. So here's, here's what we just did. We did four and seven, four and eight, four, open. This whole entire time, our picking pattern has not changed at all. We're going top string, third string from the top, third string from the bottom, plucking up. Let's, pl let's play it from this part. Do you remember the part with the two sevens where we went seven, oh, zero, seven, seven, zero, seven, seven. You remember that part? No? Great, let's do it from there. One, two, here we go. And one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, then pointer on the fifth fret. Then here we go. That's right. So I missed the string and it's all your fault. It's all your fault. Now the video's never gonna get done. There's oatmeal everywhere. Okay, great. So after we play that part, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the part where it was just fifth fret on the top string and we went. Remember, remember that part? We went five, open, five, no, five. Oh, shut up. It went. Five, open, open, five, open, five, five, seven. Remember that? And then we did the four, open, seven. We're gonna do all that again, but then instead of going four, open, eight, we're just gonna go like this. Four, open, 
open for open. So we don't have to stretch up to eight the second time through. Okay, let's play this whole entire, this is the intro to the song. Let's play the entire intro all the way through, medium speed. You can see how it all fits together and then we can move on to the next part. One, two, three, four. Four, then move it down. One, two, then seven, then five, then top. Five, seven, seven, eight, and five. Five, seven, four. That was it. I can't believe I just did that. I was like, positive I was gonna mess it up. But you know, I mean, not to brag, I just I just played it perfectly, so it was pretty cool. I almost stopped the video just because I was like, it's not gonna get any better than that. That's the intro. Once the drums and stuff come in, we're gonna, oh, do you know what I should, I should say? I should tell you something. So I'm not sure if you've listened to this song before. My guess is you probably have listened to this song at some point in your life. It is, it is quite fast. It is the fastest thing on the planet. Um. And you're thinking, I'm really supposed to hit all these specific strings while it's going a million miles an hour? Well, here's the good news, guys. If you hit the wrong string every once in a while, it still sounds pretty good. All the open strings sound good, so if you're, you're trying to do this. But if you go like this, it still sounds okay, right? I mean, that's, that's practically what Mr. Thom York does in the song anyway. All right, well, what we're gonna do now, I always feel a little rude when I mispronounce people's names on purpose. It's a mean thing to do. You can make fun of my name if you want. Mm, but be like nice though. Mm, my, did you know, I'm not sure if you realize this, but my first name is Stuart and the beginning of that word shares the same letters as the word stupid. So, you know, that's pretty good. You could use that. Um, if you have any friends that are named Stuart, you could call them stupid and that would be a funny joke. Also, if people that you don't know very well, um, like people at school, if their name is Stuart, you could call them. You could st call them stupid. They uh, or or if their name isn't Stuart, you could just go around calling people stupid. Okay. Hi, my name's Stupid. Uh, you can leave a comment. I don't know. I don't know what you're gonna comment about. Don't call me stupid. That would be mean. Um, but you could like the video. You could subscribe to the channel. All right. Let's get, let's keep going here. So once the drums come in, it's the same exact chords over here with the left hand, but the right hand just kind of starts strumming. It's going. Let's see what the next part sounds like. Something like that, right? So what's happening here is I'm just strumming down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, but I'm accenting certain strums. I'm, and when, when I say accenting, here's what I mean. On most of the strums, I'm just trying to hit the top string. If I hit the top two or three strings, that's all good, but I'm aiming for the top string, still going down, up, down, up, but on certain strums, I'm hitting all the strings. Here's what's happening. I'm going soft, soft, loud, soft, soft, loud, soft, loud. So it ends up going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Guys, it follows that same rhythm of the picking we were doing. We were going down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Now we're going soft, soft, loud, soft, soft, loud, soft, loud. So, you know, there's that. Let's let's just do the first two chords so you can practice the strumming with me. Nice and slow. Boom, go back, and one, two, here we go. Boom, go back, boom, go back, boom, go back, boom, go do what, what, who, what are you doing, and what do you go back? That was weird, which has happened. Okay, that's the, the that part of the song. That's when he's going, I don't know, is he singing there? That's when the drums come in. Then we get to the verse of the song. Guys, I have seen a lot of people play it where they're over here and they're going. I, but do you know what though? The thing is that's not how Tom York plays it. He's up here, guys. He's up here. Here's what's gonna happen. 
You're gonna play the 12th fret. This is the part where it goes Oh, my collar's messed up. I should probably button one more of these buttons. Okay. No, look better unbuttoned. All right, so here's what's happening. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna play the 12th fret on the top string. We're gonna aim for that top string, but if you hit a few more strings, that's great. We're gonna strum down on that, then you're gonna strum down up. So it's down, down, up. Great. Then you're gonna slide your finger to the ninth fret. You're gonna strum down. Then immediately after that, put your pointer finger on the seventh fret of the third string from the top and strum up. So that was 12, down, up, nine, up on that note right there. See what I'm doing? Let's do that again. One, two, here we go. Down, down, up, down, up. Then strum down, aiming for the top string. Get rid of your pointer finger and strum up. Okay. Down, down, up, down. Let's do that two times, guys. One, two, play it with me and down down up nine seven down up one two one more time and down down up nine and it's confusing i know you're doing great if that stretch is too much you can use your ring finger for that ninth fret i just like using my middle finger it's just i'm that kind of guy middle finger kind of guy i'm really not a middle finger kind of guy when you say it like that okay this next part's not too bad we just Played up without the pointer finger. Then, in the same position, you're gonna strum up, down, up. So now, now we've got this. 12, down, up, nine, up, up. Now, put your pointer finger on the seventh fret of the third string from the top again. Strum down, then get rid of your pointer finger and strum up, down, up, down. So now we've got 12, down, up, nine, uh. Add some more notes, right? I mean, I don't know. I don't know what you're waiting for. Reach down with your pointer finger to the seventh fret on the third string from the bottom. Strum down on this chord. Then immediately slide your pointer finger up to the eighth fret, strum up. Play the top string, get rid of your pointer finger, and strum up. So that was like this. It was seven, eight, and open. Seven, eight, and open. Would you play just those four strums with me? One, two, here we go. And seven, eight, and open. Here we go. And seven, eight, and open. This part kind of sucks, right? Let's take it from the beginning of the this whole section. I guess it's the verse, so taking it from the 12th fret. One, two, three, four. 12, down, up, nine, and up, up, down, up, down, uh, 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 Without telling you, it was a secret surprise. Let's do that one more time. This time I won't add in the secret surprise and I'll play it a little slower. One, two, here we go. And 12, down, up, nine, up, open, up, down, up, bang, bee, bong, ba, 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 ba. I think you did great. I feel like I feel like this part's confusing. I, I know you're a jonesing for the next part, but I feel like we gotta do it one more time. One! Two, here we go. And 12, down, up, nine, and up, up, down, up, bam, ba, down, ba, seven, eight, and open. Okay, right after, we just did seven, eight, I'm sorry, seven, eight, and open. Then, pointer finger goes to seventh fret on the third string from the top again, strum up, then play the top string down, and then get rid of your pointer finger strum up. So now that was Okay? That's the whole first section of the verse. There's two parts to the verse. This is the hard section. Now we get to do the easy section. But first we have to play the hard section all the way through. One, two, three, 
four and twelve down up nine uh, 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 uh. oh and then after that you're gonna strum up down up. who cares that part's easy you just fill in the blank you're like i don't i none of this is easy i don't know where i am i don't even know who i am anymore I know you guys you got to do it a million times I'm just I'm just gonna I'm not gonna get into a whole spiel about practicing but just yeah the first like two weeks you play it it's not gonna sound very good don't even do this part the first week just practice the first part okay the first part sounds great you've been working on that I can tell you're also looking thin you've been getting in really good shape with your diet and exercise routine I can tell <sighs> Now we get to do the easy part of the verse. Goes like this. You're gonna put your pointer middle, uh, which uh, this one. You're gonna put your middle finger on the fifth fret of the top string. You're also going to mute the second string from the top with your middle finger. And then ring finger is gonna play fifth fret on the third string from the top. Guys, something I have not mentioned, but I'm going to mention now. For this entire song, this part of my hand, I guess it's my palm, I don't know. It's the playground callus part of your hand. It's just gonna touch the bottom string to mute it. If you don't mute the bottom string and it's open, that's okay. But for me, this part of my hand is just kind of resting on that bottom string the entire time. So a little uh, thing there for, okay. On the fifth fret, you're gonna strum down, down, up, then immediately slide your fingers over to the fourth fret and strum down, down, up. So that was like down, down, up, down, down, up. Then move back to five, strum up. Is that right? Yeah, it's right. You're gonna strum up on five, and then immediately slide your fingers to two and strum down on two. So it went a little something like this. Five, down, up, four, down, up, five, two. Here we go. Five, down, up, four, down, up, five, two, three, Four, five, down, up, four, down, up, five, two. On the two, after you just strum down, then you're gonna strum down, down, up, again. So that whole thing sounds like this. Down, down, up, four, down, up, five, two, down, down, up. Okay, great, we're doing great. So next part, next part gets a little rhythmic, get ready. Strum the twos again, going down, then slide up to four. Don't re-strum on the four, just strum and slide. Then go back to the two and strum down again. So that's... Once you get back to the two and you strum down, then you're gonna strum down, down, up, yet again. So that was down, slide, down, 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 up. And then it's probably something else happens. Why is someone texting me? How's recording? It's going, it's going fine. It's going fine. So we just slid up to four, then we went back to two and played down, 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 up, right? Or something like that. So then you're gonna go back to four, strum up on four, slide down to two, and then strum down, down, up on the two. That was awful, this is terrible. Let's just play this whole part slowly, starting from the five. One. Two, nice and slow, and I don't know. That's something like that. Then we do. Then we do basically the same thing, but instead of starting with five and going to four, we're doing seven, five, five, seven, two, two. So, so this, look, we're going. Seven, down, up, five, down, up, seven, two, two, down, up. Look, obviously I don't really know this part that well. Like, I thought I did. I, this is accurate, but I just, I, I don't have the patience for your crap today, okay? That's what I'm trying to say here. So, just, just go like this, just go. And it's gonna be fine. And go like this. Do you know that part perfectly now? Let's learn the bridge, the little like breakdown instrumental bridge part. This part, I don't think I'm playing it with the exact same fingerings that Tom York is playing it. It's the same notes, but I think I'm playing it slightly differently. This part's easy, don't worry, we're almost done. It goes like this, it goes. It's 
very fun. So here's what's happening. It's all on the top two strings. I'm just strumming down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up on the top two strings. If you hit the third string, fourth string from the top, no big deal. You're gonna go like this. First, just play the top string open. Then you're gonna put your ring finger on the fourth fret of the second string from the top. We're gonna hit the top two strings and strum down, up. So it's top, down, up. Then go to the second fret on the second string from the top, strum down. Then go back to the fourth string, strum, back to the fourth fret, idiot. We were never on the fourth string. Strum up, so that was top, four, four, two, four. Then down, up on the fifth fret of the second string from the top. Then down, up on the seventh fret of the second string from the top. Down on the ninth fret of the second string from the top, down, up on the twelfth fret of the second string from the top, down, up on the fourteenth fret of the second string from the top. Let's see if that was accurate. I don't actually know. Well, what I just did there wasn't accurate, but I think what I told you was accurate. Let's do it slower. One, two, three, four. Look, I've been dreading doing this video for like three weeks because Radiohead songs are hard and 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 my guitar is out of tune and your butt is small, so whatever. 